This tutorial will focus on how to add your agency to the service finder and add additional partners to your organization. To do any of this work, you do need to have an Illinois WorkNet account. Let me show you where the directions are for becoming a partner. In the footer of the Illinois WorkNet page is a link to partner resources and you would want to click on that link. Once on that page, click on the menu, Becoming a Partner, and follow these instructions. If you are part of a grant funded program, your organization may already be in the Service Finder and then you would use the user management tools in the Customer Support Center to add additional partners to your organization. If you are new to Illinois WorkNet and just trying to add your organization, you would go to the menu to Network and Connect and the Illinois WorkNet Service Finder. Open that up. Look for your agency, the name of your agency, to make sure that it's not already added. Use the search bar to enter some information and then click Search. I entered the term Workforce Agency and clicked the search button. It is yielding results and I do not see my organization in the results. If that is the case, I would then try to add or edit a location from my own Illinois WorkNet account. I do have to have an Illinois WorkNet account to be able to perform this action. Once the page opens again, I can double check the search filters to make sure that my agency is not there. If it is not, I can click Add a New Site. In here, I would add my location name and the city and do a search because it double checks one more time. Once I have the information entered, I click Search. Results will yield. I don't see my site here. I click on that button. I agree to the terms. Click Next. And I begin adding the information about my organization. There are several steps that we will discuss next. Am I Work Support Referral or am I an Illinois WorkNet Partner? Save and continue. Now I will want to add the additional information about my physical location. Once you have all of the required fields filled in, then you can close to the bottom and click Save and Continue. The next page asks about contacts. It is very important to keep your contact information up to date. You can have a primary contact and you can have a number of secondary contacts. Our suggestion is to always have at least three contacts for your organization. And then click Next. Do you have any social media URLs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, any of those where you might be communicating with your client base. Add those and then click Next. Are you participating in any special programs? If you click the button it will give you some options to add that are available and then you would add any counties in which you serve those participants or is it statewide? Click Save and add another or click Save. I added a program and it is ready to go so I'm going to click Next. What type of organization? Fill out that information and click Save and Continue. The next piece is who the participants are that you serve. Who are your customers? You check all of the boxes that are applicable and then you can add services by clicking on the drop down arrows and checking boxes that are applicable. Fill out as many as are appropriate for your organization. 
Once you have added service, you will want to click Save and Continue. The last slide is the preview. You can check all of the information that you have entered. If you need to edit any, you can do that. And then you would submit for approval. Once you are approved, then your organization is added to the service finder and you can move forward with serving your clients and having them find you and your services in the Illinois WorkNet service finder. If you are part of a special grant program, you will want to watch the information on user management in the C Customer Support Center so that you can add additional partners to your program. Otherwise, follow the rest of the instructions on becoming a partner under the partner resources. Thanks for watching.